but we use the SD11s because we'd still have the Digico sound, but we had it in a really small format. Really tiny spot. So I had I had the 11s and I had uh, Lori and I had 11s and I had my ear rack. And okay. Same wireless setup. So I had I had that rack. I had the vocal rack. I had to still use. Right. And we put the console on top of. That's the vocal like rack. that's that's almost carry on. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's small. We 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 actually use it for the opener on this tour. Right. So Josh over here, but he's done with that stuff. He'll set up the SD11 over there for over the there openers. for the opener. It's a, it's a 32 channel. I mean, you're, right. you're allowed to use 32, 32 channels total actual actual channels on the console right um so for us it was weird because we were up to 31 but you have to figure it out where you only have you have to use a certain amount of stereo channels so we, we figured out things that i could i could lose that way i could have my vocal chain because right my vocal chain i actually take i take a 58 that's coming to the split okay that's a single channel that i use for wedges okay then um then it splits and it goes on my side goes to the api I come out of the API preamp, so I have a dry preamp uh, channel. Okay. That one is is my API channel. I send that one to the reverbs. Okay. So it's not compressed. I send that to reverbs. I send that to everybody else's ears, so they don't have the super compressed vocal. Okay. Lenny likes the really really compressed vocal, which is through the other part of my vocal chain, and that comes into another channel. Wow. So like on my on my um, control groups. I can this, this, for me this all these control groups are just Lenny's mix. Okay. So on every song I can, you know, have my setup of whatever that we're doing. Okay. Um, but that compressed vocal when he's when he's singing falsetto, that's he wants to hear it like it's louder than singing really loud. Okay. So I can bump that up. I, I, I love what that's called on the button too. Yeah. You can see. I don't know if it's going to come across, but it's called Crush. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's probably 12 to 1. I actually have it. It's what? It's probably 12 to 1 compression, and then I have it. Wow. So out of here, because you've got these two gain stages, on certain songs, I'll, I'm, I'm compressing more here. I'm changing threshold just for how he's actually singing or how he's hitting it. Right. And then I've got the same thing on the channel. So I've got, I'm limiting it on this channel so it doesn't get to be that too loud. Right. 12 to 1 is a lot of compression, yep. man. That's that's like really squashed. Yeah, yep. that's why that's the crush vocal. Um, I have to give credit though because uh, my buddy Kevin Glendinning did mm -hmm. did this before. I mean, he did it a while ago. There was a couple monitor guys that did right, it. Right, I know Brian was out there mm -hmm. for a while too. Um, Kevin Glendinning that does. He does Black Eyed Peas. He's yeah, I know Kevin. Peas. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, he was doing this before, so I called him and asked him if, if there was anything he wanted to tell me about certain things. And he said, because I wanted to do it from scratch. There, there was a file before, but I wanted to do it right. the way that I want to do it. I wanted to do my layout and stuff. So yes. he just told me about the, the 12 to 1 and having a separate a separate channel for that and then a separate one for... I, normally, I do a lot of bands that do both in-ears and wedges so I wanted to have I always have my separate wedge vocal okay and that I actually have a side fill vocal too that's a idea um, just because the way that I'm listening to my cue wedge the amount that I'm sending to these side fills is a whole different amount so when I'm queuing off it it's a little different and I don't want to have to EQ I don't want to have to EQ the side fills just to his vocal. Okay, I get it. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because Craig Ross, the, guitar, the, the lead guitar player, is, is really into the sound as well, so I don't want him to suffer with his guitar channels and stuff like that just because okay. Lenny wants his vocal a certain way. Well, and I know they're not playing around on the guitar stuff. There's no. you Usually, I would see, a, you know, I know those are third power, uh, but I would see those set up as a look thing, and one yeah. cabinet would be mic. I'm looking up there, I'm seeing like five cabinets mic, so I'm yeah. guessing different heads and different We've sounds. And Craig Ross has five separate channels for us that we're micing up all 4050s. Um, he has, he's got a Marshall, Deluxe, a Showman, I'm sorry. His, it goes Deluxe, Showman, Marshall, as Music Man, and a Mesa Boogie. And they're all going through more, those cabinets. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's even got more amps than that, but they're all in his switching well, system, so we're only miking five things. cabinets. Only five. Yeah, it was four <laughs> before, and I switched to five. Lenny's got four. Um, I mean, all of his amps are all modded, too. It's all oh, yeah. serious, serious stuff.